commented on the use of firstborns as solely for evening wear or for formal attire in the past, he is saying. Um, does that include full fur sporns and masked sporns as well? Or is what really matters for it being formal is the metal cantle? Uh, growing up, he says, he was taught that fur without metal was okay for any time, but it was always silver after six. In other words, the metal was for yeah. eating, yeah, eating yeah. for formal wear. Does that make sense? <clears throat> yeah. Um, I would tend to agree with that. The uh, a, There's basically several different styles of sporns. There's a day sporn, which we have on now. Yep. It is a leather, full leather, sideways D shape. These are appropriate before six, you know, casual type setting. There is a dress sporn, which is a an oval with a metal cantle or the half rim, like kind of a sideways C on the top of the sporn. Those are appropriate for formal events after six. Then there are what is called semi-dress sporns, which is a basically a day sporn with a fur front to the body and a leather flap on the top. Mm -hmm. um, and what he's saying is, would a semi-dress sporn, if I'm remembering the question because my memory is horrible, um, is a semi-dress sporn okay to wear during the day because it's fur? Yeah, I think he's he's trying to he's trying to confirm if if what he was taught is still true that basically fur is fur on its own is not the deciding mm -hmm. factor. I mean, can you wear fur? Or is it, or is a full mask sporn too much for during the day, or could you wear yeah. a full mask sporn anytime you want? A full yeah. mask sporn, uh, I think we've touched on this before in yeah, previous have. episodes. The uh, a full mask sporn is a you know a full head of an animal on the top as the flap of the bag. So a full mask sporn generally are very very expensive. I mean you're talking five six hundred bucks for a reasonable quality one, mm. um, and they're. You can wear them as day wear because it does not have the metal rim on the top. That being said, the majority of the time people reserve them for dress because they're five or six hundred bucks, and yeah. you don't want to, you know, spill Guinness on your six hundred dollars sporn. So generally, you reserve them for more formal events. Um, that being said, there's nothing saying that you can't wear it to the Celtic festival um, or to the pub or whatever. It's just. It's a bit much. It can um, be. I don't know if I want to use the word ostentatious, but it's a bit. It's know. a bit much. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I've seen plenty of pictures of uh, higher clan people, um, like lairds and stuff, in um, tweeds, in with tweeds, blade, with, yeah. and, and with a with a with a full with a full yeah. mask born or uh, a heavy fur sporn during the day. But I think that's still that's more of a specialized environment. And is it like a, are they and, using it as a status symbol? That's like a, yeah, in some I ways. can afford this because I'm wearing it. I think there is some factor of that. Yeah. I think there is some factor of that, yeah. Um, but I would, yeah, I'd say there's nothing wrong with having fur during the day. Nope. Um, but uh, just don't let it overpower the rest of the outfit. Um, there is, conversely now, there is a trend towards uh, bronze and brass colored uh, copper. cantle yeah. and copper colored uh, cantles on dress sporns. And I have occasionally seen people wearing um, a not silver uh, dress sporn with a tweed outfit for the day, and because it's a because it's a toned down kind of metal, I think the perception is that it's uh, okay. And it gives you more of that uh, country estate, Lord of the Manor kind of look, that Downton Abbey effect again. Um, so things kind of flux. There's there's some hard rules, and there's always some crossover in the middle. Yeah. So I it's... I wouldn't I don't know if I would necessarily do it, but. Um, I like it, and I don't like the the. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. We've seen yeah. a few. Uh, like copper or bronzed, like antiqued bronzed yeah. uh, cantles or metal pieces on it, um, on sporns with tweed. And it's the traditional side of me is shuddering from someone wearing <laughs> a dress sporin with a tweed jacket or during the day. Yeah. But the contemporary side of me is like, yeah, but it kind of works. Yeah. So the dude's cool. rocking it. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's. It, it's going to come down to personal preference and taste it does. on it. It always does. But it's, you know, do you like it? If you like it, no one is going to string you up for wanting to wear a copper cantle sporn yeah. during the day. But, uh, but yeah, you can wear fur. I would say fur is fine any, any time of day. Yeah. Um, and a nice semi-dress sporn is actually a really easy way to dress up an outfit just enough. You know, I have a I have the skunk pelt semi-dress, and I get a lot of compliments on it because it's, it's just a little bit different, a little bit fancy. Um, you know, but it's not too much. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps. Cool.